Okay, so now let's try and create some value actually using Mongoose. Now you know a bit about routes and we're going to fill out more routes, but I just want to do the post one first so we can actually create a cat. When we've created a cat, we're going to read one so we can also read the cat back. Let's try and do just the brief mongoose part that I talked about in the beginning. Let's go back to the mongoose here and let's see what they're actually doing when they want to connect uh, to a database using mongoose. The first thing we do is we require mongoose. So we require this library to do something. That makes sense. Let's copy that. That's something we want in our setup. We want to require mongoose. Let me just add that right here. Now let me actually add it to the top so we'll keep the requirements up there. The next thing that's going to happen, let me jump back, it says it connects to Mongoose. We're actually connecting another place in our full stack and I'll show you where it is. We're not going to dig into it now, I just want to show you where you're actually connecting Mongoose in the full stack. So let's find the app.js file right here. It's, um, if I just close some of these, it's actually in the root of the server, there's an app.js, that's where it all starts. Talked about that before as well. But here we're actually connecting to Mongoose. And since we're doing an export with our Mongoose library again and again, everybody's going to be able to use this. Okay, so it shouldn't be a problem for us. We only have to connect this one place. So you don't have to worry about the connection. That's my point. Good. What else is happening? Well, we're making some kind of Mongoose model here. We're going to grab that as well. Inside our index file, before we do the post, let's make this mongoose model. Now what is that? A mongoose model is a way for us to start defining the schema so that we can save the right, the cat in the right way in the database. So here we can say he has a name, and let's just give the cat an age as well, because I already showed you that inside, whoa, that's a number. I already showed you that inside Postman that I'm going to send a name and an age to the cat. Save that. So now we have some kind of model in Mongoose. And the model is where we can start working with information back and forth in the database. That's the model that we're going to use here. Now I called it the cat. It could be called everything, anything. So let's just call it the cat model so you can see that this is not a cat. It's actually a model of a cat that we can then start using. So I'll just copy this and let's just outcome in this for now. I'll get back to that in a second. What is it actually we want to do? Well, I would like that when I hit the post request, I want to create a cat. So I'm going to call a function that's on the cat model called create. This is a function, of course, that's in the mongoose library. When you generate a model, you can do a create request or create. You can call a create function. That's how I should put it. In here, in the create, I'm going to say that when I do create, I'm going to send some kind of information, a, a JSON object that I want to create. And in our quick case, we're going to send that JSON object inside the request body like I did before. And then when I'm done creating this, I'm going to do another callback. So I'm going to make another function here. But instead of request or response, that's actually going to return to me an error if something goes wrong or the actual cat I just created if everything works fine. Now what you can see here is that we start getting a callback hell, somebody calls it. We're actually going to have a callback and when that's done, we're going to have another callback, right? So we start doing this callback in a callback in a callback and that can keep going forever inside JavaScript setup. So we're going to use something called Bluebird later to prettify this. But let's just keep it this simple right now. So we have a callback inside the callback. Now, if there's an error, now this is actually how you can say if this is not undefined, if there's something in here, then we'll do a very basic thing. We'll just say response to status and just set it to a status code of 500, which means that something went horribly wrong on the server. We can do a lot of other things, but let's just keep it simple right now. If we didn't get that error, and we didn't, let's just return this, by the way, to say we don't want to continue, rit run. No, let's do return instead, like this. If we didn't get an error, then we want to return, the response is going to return the status of 200, saying that everything is fine, and it's going to return some JSON to us, which is just going to be the cat object, that we just got 
from the create method. Okay, so let's try and read this again before we try and run it. We're saying use the cat model that Mongoose provides. The cat model is using some kind of cat collection and the cat collection has to use this schema right here. Okay, if we do a post on um, the slash API slash cats, then go in and call this function right here with a request and a response to return when we're done. Use the cat model to create a cat using the request body. And that was the one we used before, just returning it again right down here. And then if everything, um, after you've done the create, then call this function right here. And what that does is it gives you an error, if something goes bad, or it gives you the cat it just created in the database with the correct ID, etc., etc. Okay. If an error comes, just return the status code. If everything goes wrong, uh, great, then return the cat. Okay, let's see if that works. Going into Postman, and we still have the cat here. And let's just uh, clean this up a bit. Okay, let's try and send this now to the API, and hopefully I'm getting back the same as before, but now, as you'll see, it's actually created inside the database because I'm getting an ID back. So now we just created our first real create request using Mongo right here. 